Alrighty guys, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back to the channel. I am super excited to announce to you guys that I finally built a garage gym. I've always wanted one. It's always been so expensive, but with the global pandemic that's going on, the gyms are closed for, you know, we don't know how long. So uh, I finally decided to pull the trigger on a garage gym. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's go back to Monday when the stuff first arrived. I'll show you guys the unboxing. Uh, and pretty much the whole setup, a quick time lapse, and then I'm gonna bring you guys back up to speed, show you guys a little bit more details about what's going on, what I have, what I don't have, good, bad, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get it started. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So update to the gym, the home gym. Yesterday, I was able to install a uh, 36 inch, so three feet by five feet mirror. I don't know if I like it yet because in the back, I can see like all this clutter that we had to move to open up this space. Now this space is 10 by 20, about, it's approximately, it's exactly 131 by 225 inches. Um, if you guys want an exact measurement. But so far we've got all the mats set up. So you guys can see, we set up all the mats. Now over here, I had to cut a piece to kind of fit flush. I'll move this stuff and show you guys in a little bit, but this last piece was kind of a pain to cut it up. About I, I had to cut about a foot off from the edge so it could actually fit perfect. Um, but other than that, the flooring is looking really, really good. Super excited. Now, what I'm planning to do is, I wanna have this area here. So the back uh, four, four feet pretty much for stretching, uh, you know, pretty much explosive work. So if I need to do any kangaroo jumps, um, any lunges, anything like that, I wanna leave this space open. So the back the back mat, mats, the back strip, I guess you could say, um, hopefully that's gonna stay open. Now it also might serve as just some storage. I might put the bench probably somewhere in the corner or something like that. Um, but this spot initially was supposed to be for the squat rack but I think I'm going to move the deadlift platform here and then move the squat rack over here because I don't like, again, to look at the clutter in the back when I'm squatting. It's, it's probably gonna throw me off. So I'm gonna move the platform that we're still building um, over here and then probably just keep the squat rack in the corner. I think that's gonna be a little bit nicer. So haven't, haven't gotten, uh, Shipping car confirmation from Rogue yet. Um, they're pretty much, I called customer service a while ago, probably about a week ago actually, um, and they told me this stuff was not even gonna come in for, to their warehouse, it's not gonna be ready to even ship for 10 to 14 days. And this was probably, I called them on the 20th. Um, and, and keep in mind it's 10 to 14 business days, so it's not 10 to 14 just regular days. So uh, it might be another week or so, until they get the stuff in the warehouse and then it might take another week to actually ship out and then i don't know how long it'll take to get here so uh it's kind of a bummer you know that that the stuff is taking forever but at the same time you got to look at the situation that we're in obviously we're in a pandemic right now a global pan pandemic so um obviously for 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 me to have you know great customer service expectations and great service expectations is not um you know very feasible at this time so anyways i'm not i'm not going to be too hard on rogue i'm not going to be too hard on anybody i'm just happy that i was able to get an order in and hopefully uh, it comes in soon but other than that um we also got some of the platform uh done we got the middle middle part here done i put some propane tanks on the ends so hopefully the glue can stick uh, underneath I'm probably gonna stain it today actually probably not today probably tomorrow when it's not uh, raining outside and, and snowing and whatnot I don't know I think it's gonna snow here in probably an hour or so but um, I'm probably gonna stain it outside just so I don't get the mats dirty uh, and then put some polyurethane on it afterwards and then hopefully I could attach um, the mats over here on both sides uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for for the update for now. Got some got some resistance bands as well. So, oh, and I also found five and two and a half pound plates, 
And then I got these from Home Depot, the heavy duty surface mount D-ring. Uh, I'll explain I'll explain pretty much how it's gonna actually I have an example right here. So this is going to go on the platform and then a band could stick in right through here. Now this is going to go on each corner of the platform. So that way I could add some band resistance uh, to my deadlifts and whatnot. So hopefully that works out good. I have no idea you know, how it's gonna work yet. So hopefully it's good, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the update for now, man. Just waiting on the other equipment. And then once that arrives, I will update you guys on how it goes. Backlash written on me, card robbing on a glass bowl. I've been falling. Free my ladies in the counter now. I'm already out, already on the countdown. I'ma set it right. Got the backlash written on me, cold running from the popo, and it's on me. Don't know which way we're going now. I don't wanna know it. Might as well be going down. I don't wanna know it. I got the backlash written on me, card robbing on a glass bowl. I've been falling. Free my ladies in the counter now. I'm already out, already on the countdown. I'ma say it right. Got the backlash written on me. Welcome to the finished product, man. As you guys can see, <laughs> I shaved my head, bro. Anyways, let me show you guys uh, what's going on with the gym. So I just finished working out, so it's a little messy. So don't judge. Don't, don't judge that. Alright, So we finally got the platform finished up. As you guys can see, the stain is all done. Looks really nice and shiny. Really happy with how it came out. And then on this side, you can see the uh, washers and the uh, screws and whatnot. So it's all connected. It's all done. Now one thing that really bothers me is the fact that the mats uh, from the place I bought them were cut about an inch short on each dimension. So they're supposed to be four by uh, six and they're just one inch short uh, for each dimension. So that kind of sucks. But what I, what I did is I just stained this part right here. So it matches a little better and it doesn't show as bad. I've got my bags right there. I've got my squash shoes. Uh, and then I've got my rack. So this is the RML3. This this rack is amazing. I've used it for uh, Let's see here six days six days now five six days and uh, I've had absolutely no problems with it. It's amazing. It's perfect um, The one thing that I wish it had was the plate storage um, but I just saw on Rogue that they had some in, in stock, so I bought a pair. I'm probably going to put them over there because if you don't nail this rack into the ground uh, and you rack on this side, it's going to lean towards that side when you uh, rack it, So especially if you're going pretty heavy. So hopefully if I could put some weights on there, you guys can see actually right here, I'm putting weights on the edge so that way it doesn't tip over. But hopefully I'm probably going to screw it into the ground, into the concrete, uh, so I don't have to put the plates there. I don't have to rely at least on the plates being there um, And then let's see Alexa Music off and then this is the uh, rogue utility bench flat bench not adjustable uh, And it's amazing really really good bench very soft and comfortable or sorry not soft very comfortable and firm um, and then it's a bit sticky as well, so I'm used to the commercial gyms. A lot of people use them. There's a lot of probably oil and sweat on those benches. So this is brand new and it's very nice and grippy. So when I'm benching, it feels really, really nice. And then in terms of the plates, in terms of the weights, I got 500 pounds worth of bumper plates and these are the HG 2.0. Really, really nice. They don't bounce uh, at all pretty much. So when I'm deadlifting on the platform, they just, when they land, they barely, barely bounce. Uh, and I'll show you guys some footage of, of me deadlifting as well, just so you guys can get a better look. Um, but yeah, highly recommend these weights. They're amazing. I really want to get some steel plates as well, just because I love how they look. Uh, and you can load up a lot more weight on the bar as well. And then in terms of the bar, this is the uh, Rogue Ohio bar. So it's not the power bar, just the regular... Uh, rogue ohio bar 
the power bar, the difference between that is there's less whip and then there's a center knurling as well. So this one only has this side, the Olympic and powerlifting, if I could get it to focus here. There we go. So that that's just the regular knurling and then it's got the uh, powerlifting and the uh, Olympic lifting uh, neurals or neural marks whatever you call them so that's pretty cool i got this bar because it was it was in stock the power bar ohio power bar was not in stock unfortunately um but i definitely want to get the ohio power bar and then we got again i can't believe i'm bald bro <laughs> We got the three feet by five feet mirror looks really good. And then of course we got some bands going on um, And then something I don't like about this by the way is the uh, Safety system that they have set up here. I barely used it I used it maybe like once and you could already see the scratching on it. So I went ahead and ordered the uh, What are they called the safety strap systems? So hopefully I'll be able to replace that. And then something else I don't like is the fact that this has no nothing to stop it from going all the way out. So that could be very, very bad if it slips and uh, you pretty much need it to catch you and it slips out, it's just gonna fold you, smash you, and that's not gonna be good at all. So all they had to do was maybe cut like a hole right in the middle, and then you could put a stick in there to pre prevent it from sliding that way. Uh, but they didn't do that, so these safeties, in my opinion, kinda suck in terms of just uh, one option, one thing that you have. I'd highly recommend you don't get this one to start off with. Uh, pay the extra money, get the straps, and you should be good to go. Now, these are nice, though, for uh, benching. I'll show you guys some clips of me benching as well and how I use those specifically for bench. So with the west side spacing, you have the option to move the safety pretty much anywhere you want. It's very, very precise. So you could get it pretty much to where um, it's not hitting the bar, but it's hitting your chest on the bench, uh, bench press. But if you take out the arch in your chest, then the bar will land on the safety bars uh, and you should pretty much be able to slip out. So that's, that's very handy in terms of that. You could also do like pin presses and all that stuff. But um, yeah, it, overall use, I, I don't think they're that safe uh, or that good. But nonetheless, they, they've done the job so far. And then the pull-up bars are really nice. You've got the skinny bar up here in the front and then the fat bar right there. And then they bolt with just two bolts. So that leaves you three holes that you could attach things to if you wanna attach the spudding straps that hang down from there. And, and if you wanna do that, you could definitely do that with this rack. And then the J-Cups are also really nice. They haven't scratched the knurling. They, they look pretty much brand new still. So they're doing, they're doing the job. Uh, I've got some, again, bands right here. It's a good spot for them. And then that's it, that's pretty much uh, the whole gym. The stall mats are amazing, really nice and grippy, aside from the fact that they were just, you know, one inch off. Uh, but aside from that, they're really, really good. And then in terms of heating options, I've got a propane indoor safe heater. This is the Big Buddy heater. Uh, if you guys want to look at that, I'll link it in the description. I might do a review on it maybe later on. I think tomorrow it's going to snow, so I might uh, turn it up on high and just run it, see how it warms up the garage. Because I do live in Colorado, it snows a lot, the winters get cold. So it's definitely important to have a garage heater. And then I've got an electrical one in that corner over there. Um, just in case this one is not hot enough. But so far, I mean, I've used it in 50 degree weather and it's warmed up the, the garage really quick. So um, it's, it's a good heater. Anyways, that is pretty much it. That is the whole setup. If you guys have questions about it um, or anything like that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. So these are smart bulbs right here. Just to give you a, or just to give myself, I guess, a better uh, vibe. Um, just, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's not really necessary, but I might have to add some more lighting in here. Maybe a, a strip over there, LED tubes on each side, because this side gets really dark at night when the sun sets. Uh, so maybe I'll have to add lighting later on. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated, but 
yeah, as always, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So before I end the video, I want to quickly uh, just recap the video. Alhamdulillah, I feel so blessed and so lucky and so happy. I cannot explain it to you guys how happy I am with the garage gym. Um, it's been yeah, an amazing, amazing journey. Alhamdulillah, I'm very, very grateful to have a place where I could work out in during this quarantine. Now, I know uh, for me and for a lot of other people, training and going to the gym is not just a physical thing. It's not just something we do uh, to get a physical benefit from it. There's a lot of mental benefits uh, from working out. And a lot of you guys who are watching this video who are interested in uh, investing in a garage gym already know that. So um, to be able to work out, obviously, is a great, great blessing. And alhamdulillah, I'm very, very happy uh, you know, with the garage gym so far. So if you guys are thinking about investing in a garage gym uh, and you don't know whether you want to pull the trigger, whether you're going to like it or not, I would highly recommend you guys try it. Just do it, man. Just pull the trigger because I, I didn't know how I would uh, react. You know what I mean? For the past, I don't know, seven plus eight years, however much I've been working out since high school, pretty much, I've always been in a gym with other people, a commercial gym with a lot of other people in there. So to work out in isolation is very foreign. It's very new, but I 100% love it. I absolutely love it. You get to focus. There's no rush. There's nobody waiting on you to take your rack or to take your weights, or you don't have to go and search for you know certain plates or anything like that. You have what you need, and you could always build on what you already have. So Alhamdulillah, very, very grateful for it. And I would highly recommend you guys again, if you're interested in a garage gym, I'd highly recommend you guys just do it, pull the trigger. Um, but one thing before uh, I end this video as well, in terms of aftermarket stuff, in terms of buying stuff used, right now this stuff is insanely uh, priced, like way too high uh, of pricing for stuff that's usually uh, very cheap. So um, don't buy secondhand right now. What I plan on doing inshallah in the future uh, is hopefully buying some more equipment, buying some more weights and barbells and whatnot uh, secondhand because what happens is in, in these situations is a lot of people are going to start buying home gyms then when the gyms open back up, they're not going to want to work out at home or in their garage. So they're going to sell their stuff or get rid of it. And so that's when you have to take advantage of it. Because right now, there's a huge demand and there's not a lot of supply. So uh, that's why the prices you know, are, are increasing uh, significantly. So after the quarantine, the, the supply is going to be there, but the demand is going to be very low. And that's when you can get stuff for, so, for pretty cheap. So um, I'd highly recommend you guys just get the bare minimum for what you need right now. And then if you want to add some more stuff, just wait a few months uh, until people start selling their stuff. And then you could just keep adding on to your garage gym. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I still can't believe I'm bald, bro. I don't know why I did that, man, but... Let me know if you guys like it. I kind of like it, but it's just so weird to me, man. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.